your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Gotro III. Yeah, snow coming down earlier today. You said we broke a record. Yeah, a snow record. <laughs> Believe it or not, we got up to five inches today. And it depends on how far back you go on the records, but we broke two. I mean, I mean, technically, we broke it twice over. Sometimes I talk about the record set at the airport, and then sometimes I talk about the Dayton area record, which goes back farther, further, but that includes readings from downtown Dayton versus the airport. Regardless, we saw at least five inches. We technically still have a little over 30 minutes left, but we saw at least five inches today. That's a lot of snowfall. Considering the record 1992 set back at the airport was three and a half inches. But if you do want to go back farther to 1915, it was 4.9 inches. So even that one we broke by a tenth of, of an inch. So it was a fairly snowy morning. You can see snowfall over the last 24 hours. Yeah, five inches in Dayton. Other places saw two, three inches. Springfield, 6.2. Xenia, about six and a half inches of snowfall over the last 24 hours. And that's pretty much when it started, was right at the beginning of the day. Around this time last night, I got a little hungry. I wanted to prepare myself for the snowy day ahead. So I was at Waffle House late. It's the only thing open around here past midnight. I amazed everyone, like Karnak the Magnificent. I said, just wait a few seconds. We're gonna start to see some snowflakes. And indeed we did. You can see here the clouds and rainfall in the snow right around midnight. Look at all this blue across the region. But as we got closer to 7, 8 a.m., it started to transition to the green, meaning rainfall, because those temperatures started to climb. And we did see a lot of rain across the region that melted a lot of snow. And the roads were pretty good for at least later in the day. They're a little bit tricky in the morning. Now, as we move into the overnight hours tonight, they could be a little bit tricky as well because we are forecasting temperatures to be below freezing. And a lot of that snow that has melted, whatever slush is left over, too, yeah, there might be some slick spots in the morning tomorrow. Not to mention some flurries are actually expected some light snow showers as we move into tomorrow. Let's time it out here in the future cast. Now, at least in the next couple hours, midnight, 1, 2, 3 a.m., you can expect a chance for a few stray flurries. And we are seeing some of that pop up on the radar. You can see that illustrated here. Just some passing light blue regions. But as we move a little bit later in the morning hours, we'll start to see some darker areas of blue here. Now, it's not widespread like I just showed you on the radar from earlier this morning, but we are expecting some scattered light snow showers. And the fact that some of these are dark blue indicate that there might be some brief periods where visibility is actually lower because there could be a few heavy pockets of snow mix in there, but brief because, look, they're just little pockets that move along and we're left with some passing snow showers, but eventually things do begin to dry out a little bit, and we're left with some mostly cloudy skies. Here's a look at Friday. The sunshine's trying to peek through, but a little bit later, later in the evening, you start to see another little wave. doesn't last too long of potentially snow. The future cast is bringing it up as rain right here. I'm leaning a little bit more towards snow, but regardless, it passes through pretty quickly. So here's the next seven days. Temperatures aren't going to fluctuate very much. It is a little bit milder this weekend. Highs in the low 40s, and then into next week, we're back in the 30s. And there are several days of a bit of a mix here, a bit of a snowfall here, another chance of rain, snow. So we'll just have to keep an eye on over the next seven days. It's definitely starting to feel like winter finally, because, I don't know, I was enjoying the last few weeks where we were above average. Yeah, thank you, Robert. All right, thank you.